Ça. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Village of Bartlett Board meeting for April 5th, 2016. I call the meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Trustee Ahrens? Here. Cameron? Here. Carbonero? Here. Daney? Here. Hopkins? Here. Rinky? Absent. President Wallace? Here. We've uh, requested um, Pastor Andy Doyle to do our invocation this morning. Pastor Doyle? Will you bow your heads as I pray? Father God, I pray your blessing upon this meeting, Heavenly Father. I pray your blessing upon each person in this room, Lord. Thank you for their contribution to Bartlett. Thank you for their contribution to our community, Lord. I pray that they'll continue to serve and lead with wisdom and discernment, Lord. I pray that Bartlett will continue to be a community where people can thrive and flourish. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh my gosh, look at all the cuts. Moving on to the consent agenda, all items listed with an asterisk will be considered enacted in one motion. Um, there will be no further discussion with any uh, consent agenda items. Is there anything at this point anybody would like to add to the consent agenda? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda, which includes the minutes from 2016-17 budget review, um, the minutes from 2016-17 budget's public hearing, the uh, board and committee minutes from March 15, 2016, and the bills list from April 5th, 2016, also under item A, Planning and Zoning Committee, Chairman Ranke's uh, committee, the proposed special service area for the Bartlett Ridge subdivision. So moved. Second. second. Moved by Trustee Aaron, second by Trustee uh, Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Aaron's? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. The motion carries. Next item we have on our agenda this evening, so the treasurer's report is our president's report, and we have a special honor. Well, we are honored to and excited to have Tim Schneider with us um, this evening. Um, not only are we proud that Tim calls Bartlett home, um, which makes things easier for us to communicate with him, um, but he also uh, represents our village, county, and state as the State of Illinois Republican Party Chairman and Cook County Board Commissioner. Uh, Tim is here this evening to present the Village of Bartlett and the Bartlett Police Department with their reaccreditation award for the Commission of Accreditation for Law Enforcement. Tim, can you come up? Good evening, everyone. It's uh... It's a real delight to be here and see some old friends and meet new friends uh, on the Village Board and in the audience here today. Um, as the Mayor said, I'm honored to serve this community on the Cook County Board and, and very proud to be uh, called a resident here in this great village of Bartlett. Um, this evening, I have the privilege and honor to recognize the Village of Bartlett's Police Department on its CALEA certification. CALEA, or the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, is the gold standard in public safety. It's only given to those departments that are committed to excellence. Across the nation, only 10% of the police departments receive this accreditation. It's a tremendous amount of work. I commend the village and its police department on their dedication to achieving this accreditation six times. They've been accredited since 1997, receiving reaccreditation every three years. CLIA accreditation requires the department provide a fair and equitable work environment, that it reduces the department's exposure to negative liability, and reduces insurance premiums, thereby saving residents money. CLIA certification is a coveted award that symbolizes professionalism, distinction, and competency. In a time where police departments are much maligned, 
This shows that Bartlett cares, its officers care, and in return, the people in the community care about its department. This is a significant professional achievement for Bartlett and its police department and demonstrates its ongoing endeavors for excellence. The village should be very proud of it to have achieved this, achieved this accreditation, and my hat is off to all of those involved in reaching this plateau. I'm honored to be here to read this to you, to devote time to the much hardworking individuals in this police department here in Bartlett. Um, I know they've visited my house on occasion when my alarm's gone off improperly, and uh, they've always served with uh, professionalism and courtesy when they've come to my house as well. So thank you for all you do. I'd like to have you all come up here. We've got a, an award for you here. Chief, I don't know if you want to say a few words. I'll say Chief Williams. Words. Uh, this time around, the Village of Bartlett and its police department was also the recipient of the Excellence Award, the Gold Standard Award, and the Meritorious Service Award, uh, that thus representing less than 3% of the agencies of the 10% in law enforcement. Uh, this is truly a team sport. Uh, this cannot be done without tremendous support from the entire village, uh, the village manager, the mayor, and the board, and uh, first and foremost, uh, staff that is second to none in law enforcement. With us. So for that, I'd like to welcome them up as well. <clears throat> So that's all I have. Thanks for the honor and privilege of serving as your commissioner, and hats off to your police department. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Tim. Much. Thank you. Next on our president's report, we have a recognition of Bartlett's best. Um, when we hear of Illinois High School Association Tournament, um, it is easy to think of sports um, and student athletes, um, but the IHSA also offers students the opportunity to participate in interscholastic uh, competition outside the athletic arena. Um, today, the Village of Bartlett is pleased to recognize two uh, of Bartlett High School juniors who have competed uh, very successfully in the IHSA's speech tournament. Um, Sam Witz and Natalie Payne have been competing in the dramatic uh, duet acting category. They have performed a scene from uh, Stephen Fetcher's play, The Woodsman. Maybe you can see it tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't prepared. Throughout the uh, competition, um, their talent and hard work earned them an Upstate 8 Conference Championship, an IHSA Regional Championship, third place in the IHSA Sectional Honors Championship, and their recent trip to the state finals in Peoria. Um, at the state competition, Sam and Natalie continued to make their speech coach, Anthony um, Zobeck, right? um, their families, and all of Bartlett High School and the entire community proud by winning fifth place. As a result of the IHSA finals, the BHS speech team now ranks in the top 50 school speech teams in Illinois, placing 39th. Um, Natalie and Sam, we congratulate you on the 
dramatic gift that has taken you so far in this competition. Most importantly, we recognize and applaud your dedication and the many hours of practice that have allowed you to excel. We wish you good luck and success in everything you do, and we want you to know that the Village of Bartlett will always be rooting for you. Next item under the President's report is the Wayne Township Bicycle Plan uh, Proclamation. After much discussion uh, on this uh, topic, um, uh, we've decided that we're going to um, uh, look at tabling this, so I'll entertain a motion to table this until a further uh, review of the pro uh, bike plan can be assessed by the bike committee. So, so moved. moved. Second. So moved by uh, Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Aarons? Yes. All right, we'll have that tabled until most likely after the bike committee meets in June. Um, next item we have under the president's report is the liquor license that we need to renew. Um, I've reviewed these. Everything's in order. There's no objection. I intend to issue the renewals for Tokyo Steakhouse, um, Bratz Place, and Pasta Mia. So moved. Second. Nope. No need. And that does it for the president's report. Is there any questions at this point the board has? I have a question. Okay. If I were to apply for a, a crossing guard, would that be double dipping? I'm sorry, would that be what? If I, if I were to apply to be a crossing guard yes. for the village of Bartlett, would that be considered double dipping? I think so. It would? I Mm. Thank you. Anything else? Hearing none, we'll move on to the town hall portion of the meeting. At this point, if anybody would like to address the board, please step up to the podium. Uh, kindly state your name and address for the record. Would anybody like to address the board at this time? Michael Warden, 431 South Main Street, Bartlett. Uh, I would just like to read a thank you card on behalf of what the Village Board and staff did for me. It says, the best things in the world aren't things. They're people like you. Thank you with all my heart. Dear Village Board and staff, thank you so much for such an outstanding card, gift card, and cake and coffee after the March Zoning Board meeting last month. I have enjoyed the last 36 years on the board, Found out it's not 37 until the 24th of this month <laughs> because I got to see Bartlett grow firsthand before it actually happened. I have enjoyed working with the many administrations of both elected and employed competent folks like yourselves that, ha that love Bartlett. I was two when my family moved here September 16, 1961. After serving on the Preservation Area Commission, I was 19 when I was appointed to the ZBA and I used to drive in for meetings from NIU for the first two years. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Let us continue to keep Bartlett as a top-notch community of progress with pride. We have all had a hand in making Bartlett what it is today, with gratitude. I'd like to thank you again for everything. It caught me off guard because I was behind in reading the examiner. And I came in, I thought, why do we have coffee and, and cake here and stuff like that? And all of a sudden, when I found out afterwards, I was like, what? Then I read it when I went home and got the examiner and got caught up. So mm -hmm. thank you again for everything. Thank you for your service. Anybody else like to address the board at this time? No compliments. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. 
Moving on to the standing committee reports this evening. Um, first standing committee reports, planning and zoning committee. Chairman Ranke, um was is absent this evening, kind of a late absence, so I'll take over his uh, committee here. Um, the first item on his committee, the only item, is the second amendment to the Hawk Hollow Forest Reserve multi-trail easement agreement, uh, which allows for the continued use of the multi-use trail along South Bartlett and Schick Roads for another 70 years. And with that, I could turn it over to staff for an explanation. We have had this uh, agreement with the Forest Preserve, as you can see, this is ending up in 20 years. And uh, it was one of our first uh, trails that kind of took the trail system that's down South Bartlett Road down to the high school and also over to the uh, Gerber Road Forest Preserve. Um, all of a sudden, it started, to, it, it came to an end. The Forest Preserve asked, we'd like to amend it. The two Areas of amendment, obviously the insurance, but the other is the uh, the white farm section of it, which is really from uh, the uh, railroad tracks down to Schick, and all they're asking for is if we ever want to do any digging in that area that we apply for a license with the Forest Preserve, and that is for reasons that I won't go into, but we agreed to that. So okay. it's just a renewal, and as you see, they're taking it out for 70 years. And with that, I'll entertain a motion to approve Resolution 2016-23. So moved. Second. It's moved by Trustee uh, Carbonero, seconded by Trustee Daney. The clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Aarons? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Motion carries. Next item we have under our standing committee reports is the building and uh, building committee chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. There's nothing to report tonight. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Next item we have is uh, under finance and golf committee, Chairman Daney. Thank you, Mr. President. The only thing we have on the agenda this evening is the uh, adoption of the uh, budget and um, the uh, village board reviewed the uh, fiscal year 2016-17 budget at the March 1st and March 8th finance committee meetings and uh, attached is our budget re attached is budget, budget resolution to adopt the fiscal year 2016-17 budget and a public hearing was conducted on, on March 15, 2016. The budget amount and expenditures totaled 53 million five hundred and eighty two thousand two hundred ninety one dollars with that I move to approve resolution 2016 24 sorry 24 24 the resolution adopting the fiscal year budget 2016-17 in the amount I had mentioned second moved by trustee Danny seconded by trustee Kammer. is there any discussion well, I have a few things I'd like to say First, I'm going to vote no on this budget. Um, I know staff, they put a lot of hard work and effort into the budget, and I do appreciate everything that they do day in and day out. Um, one of my concerns is, is overlapping taxing districts and duplication of services provided by these districts. First, Illinois has approximately 8,500 local government units, which partly includes fire districts, school districts, library di districts, townships, and some districts have the sole purpose of killing mosquitoes. This list can go on and on. If you live in Cook County, you know by looking at your tax bill that the Northwest Mosquito Abatement District provides services to Cook County areas, meaning Cook County residents pay for the Northwest Mosquito Abatement District to spray in Cook County on their tax bill. I had the opportunity to talk with the director of the Northwest Mosquito Abatement District about the services that he provides. I've never met anyone so passionate about mosquitoes before. <laughs> it, I mean, it was remarkable. It really was. I, I would have never thought in a million years. My concern is that in our 2016-2017 budget, we have $72,000 earmarked for mosquito abatement, paid for by residents in all counties, Cook. Cook County residents, however, do not receive this, this service from the village. They receive services from the Northwest Mosquito Abatement District. They pay for this on their tax bill. I am concerned that the Cook County residents are being taxed twice for a service and only receiving it 
from one, the Northwest Mosquito Abatement District. This issue of duplication of services has been talked about a lot lately in, in politics and will likely continue. The policy decisions in Bartlett was made by past boards to fund mosquito abatement through the general budget, even though Cook County residents pay for it separately on their tax bill. I believe that the mosquito abatement is an extremely important service that we do need to provide to our residents. It just should be funded in a different manner. I believe we can, at a future meetings, talk about this issue and come to a, a consensus about how to fund this in a way that isn't double taxing some residents. So that's what I have to say, and I would like to make a motion to amend the 2016-2017 budget and remove the $72,000 for mosquito abatement. Yeah, it fails for lack of a second. Anybody else have any discussion on the budget? I uh, concur with uh, what Trustee Hopkins is saying. However, I think at this point in time, this is something that has to be addressed in the next budget. And uh, considering all the time and effort that we've, been, we've spent on this at this point in time, I still feel that we should move forward with the current budget as it's presented to us this evening and attack these items in the next budget. And I'm looking forward to doing that. I agree with that. I just can't morally vote yes on something when we're taxing our residents twice, that's all. You got it. Any other discussion? Nope. Other than mosquitoes? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll then? Okay, we need a new motion to approve the budget then. Okay, then. Yeah, I made the motion and I had a second. The motion was already made. Yeah, roll call. Right. Was there a second? A no, we're okay. Okay, so here's the second. Your order down. Trustee Daney? Yes. Hopkins? No. This is for the budget. Aarons? Was there a second? Yes, I seconded. You seconded? I did. Oh, well, speak up. <laughs> Thought I did. No. Cameron? Uh, yes. Carbonero? Yes. President Wallace. Yes. Motion passes. Mr. President, that's all we have on our, on our uh, committee reports for this evening. Thank you, Chairman Rent Daney. Next item we have on our, our standing committee reports is License and Ordinance Committee. Chairman Ahrens. Thank you. Um, uh, at our last meeting, um, the, uh, the Active Transportation Alliance uh, pre presented a proposal to have their inaugural kickstand classic bike race uh, in Bartlett. And the date they've selected is September 25th, 2016. Now the village will partner in this uh, and the benefit to the village is that uh, the size of the bike race will be big, which will bring a lot of business into town. Um, the Planning and Zoning Committee reviewed the uh, routes and the agreement at their meeting on March 15th and forwarded it to the Village Board for a final vote. So at this time, I would like to uh, move that we pass Resolution 2016-25, a resolution approving the agreement between the Village of Bartlett and the Active Transportation Alliance for the Kickstand Classic Bike Race. Second. Moved by Trustee Ahrens, second by Trustee Daney. Is there any discussion about the Kickstand Classic? I just think it's great that it's coming to our community. I think it's going to bring a lot of good publicity. So I'm glad it's they chose Bartlett. Yeah, we're real glad you chose Bartlett. Good event. Everybody should get their uh, bikes um, uh, de-rusted and, uh, you know, all the sprockets checked and... Uh, the races. Yeah. How much attached? Yeah. The clerk, please. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask if the village has any tricycles that the board could rent so that we can be in that. Is We're working on that. <laughs> just no segways. No segways. Oh, yeah, I like the segways. Come on. Oh. The clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Aarons? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. That motion carries. 
Next item we have under uh, standing committee reports is the Police and Health Committee, Chairman Carbonero. Thank you, Mr. President. Nothing to report this evening. Thank you, Chairman Carbonero. Um, next item we have under standing committee reports is Public Works Committee, Chairman Kammerer. Thank you, Mr. President. Tonight we have three things, the first being the uh, 2016 concrete replacement project, uh, all of which I'd have to say if I would have done this earlier, we could have probably put this on the consent agenda. However, I always like to acknowledge the fact that, that the village does good work in getting these, these uh, quotes and uh, getting coming in under budget, and I think it's a great thing. Uh, Dan, do you have anything to, that you'd like to say about the uh, concrete replacement project? Thank you, Trustee Kammerer. Um, it did, as you can see, we're slightly under um, 43, give or take, out of 50. Um, it was pretty competitive. We had a good number of bids, so it's always good to see. Very good. All right, any other questions by the board? If not, then I move the Village Board award the bid for the 2016 concrete replacement project to Concrete Construction Incorporated of St. Charles in the amount of $42,780. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Just for the record, that was Ordinance 2016-26. I'm sorry, resolution? That's resolution, okay, 26. Um, and then I'll start the roll so call. you want to amend your motion to also would include not just awarding the bid, but approving the contract by the, approving that resolution. Okay. Then I'd like to amend my motion to approve the contract as well as the bid. I'll second that also. <laughs> Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Dana. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Ahrens? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Dana? Yes. Hopkins. Yes. The motion carries. Okay. Our second item is the 2016 Motor Fuel Tax Various Streets Project. Uh, once again, I'll ask the uh, Public Works Department if they have any comments. Uh, again, no comments on this one. This is the big project. Um, we were high in our estimates of this, mostly due to uh, material costs, but again, it was much more competitive than we thought, and uh, always glad to see the prices low, like this. Yeah, and that being about 320000 yeah, approximately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is great. Very good. All right, any other questions by the board? If not, then I move uh, resolu is this resolution, resolution 2016-27. Uh, I move the village board award the bid for the 2016 motor fuel tax Acts various streets benefit, uh, benefit uh, uh, various streets project to the Brothers Asphalt Paving Corporation of Addison, Illinois, an amount of $598,133.32. and thirty-two cents. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. The clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Kammer. Yes. Carbonero. Yes. Haney. Yes. Hopkins. Yes. <clears throat> Aaron's. Yes. Okay. And last but certainly not least, we have the 2016 crack ceiling project. And I'll turn it back over to you guys. Any comments? Um, again, interesting to see that uh, there was five bidders. I don't think we've ever had five for this project before. Okay. And once again, we came under bid under bid by about. Uh, $8,000 approximately, so good job there. This would be, I would move that uh, we have resolution 2016-28, uh, and I move the village board award the bid for the 2016 crack ceiling project to BIM Pavement Maintenance Incorporated of Crystal Lake in the amount of $67,392. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammerer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Is there any discussion about the uh, solution? The clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Aarons? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. A motion carries. And that is all we have tonight on public works. Very good. Thank you, uh, Chairman Kammerer. Um, next item we have on our agenda this evening is under new business. Is there any new business anybody would like to address? I would like to know if... Um, 
Are there any ordinances on the books for smoking near parks? For what? Smoking near parks or at parks? That's a good question. I don't think so. I think the park district. Park district may have ordinances that. Can we regulate that? Not really, not I believe the park district park. has an ordinance. Okay. We should find out why. But the park district. I know it's from buildings outdoors. I don't know what their rules are, what their there ordinances some, say. There was some concerned residents that some people were smoking when their young children were swinging on the swings and what? to know. <laughs> Speak up. There were some kids smoking and some parents smoking at a park and they didn't, they were concerned that their kids were playing at the park when these people were smoking. Trustee Hopkins, I'll call tomorrow and find out for sure whether the park district has any uh, ordinances relative to that. Thank you. Let you know. Wow, I've never seen that before. No, I don't know. That was scary. I have uh, one general question that I need to ask staff. And uh, years ago, I remember <clears throat> the uh, first move to the village. Uh, do you remember they used to have the, the uh, I don't know what, what organization did this or, what was involved, but they used to have the welcome lady, the welcome welcome wagon, right. welcome wagon. Remember that, Joyce Davis? Yeah, that's right, that's right. And uh, that I don't know, is that still in existence? It is not, it is not. Who was responsible for that? What, what group was it? Wasn't the village, I don't believe it, it was the welcome wagon group that they have in all lots of towns. They had that when I moved company, in, in right? 93. Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. 93 was still in effect. Yeah, they came to my house in 85, his house in 93. I don't know what happened to him. And it's an actual company that people can work for, and then they can go out and promote businesses that pay that person oh. to uh, go out and promote the right. businesses for it's them. A business. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll talk about that. Um, I'd like at this time to ask to reconsider the uh, vote on the budget. That requires a second and a vote on a motion to reconsider. It, uh, as a matter of clarification, that, that motion actually failed. The budget requires two-thirds of the corporate authorities holding office. Now, so that would include the mayor, which require five votes. It actually, the outcome was four, two, one, uh, one being absent. So I think there was some confusion on uh, the motion to amend when Trustee Ehrens voted. Uh, she had a hard time hearing, so I just wanted to clarify that. So there should be a roll call then, or is there a second on the motion to reconsider? Someone seconded it? So it didn't pass. It did not pass. So you have to reconsider it first. So she moved to reconsider. We need a second on the motion to reconsider. A second, to re so, uh, second yes. All right. Then we need a roll call on the motion to reconsider. Okay, so we have a, a motion to reconsider by Trustee Ahrens, a second uh, by Trustee Kammer. Will the clerk please call the roll? Uh, Trustee Daney? No. I don't want to reconsider it. Well, it didn't pass, right? It, it's no, it won't it's pass. not. It won't. The budget did not pass. In the past, so you're reconsidering to see if we can. We're pass reconsidering it so we can re vote. So. So oh, yes. It. It's just so that we right. can vote yes. Okay. Yeah. Hopkins? No. Hammer? Yes. Aarons? Yes. Herbanero? No. <laughs> I, President Wallace? Yes. So the motion to reconsider passed. Now we need to take another vote on the budget. So we need a motion to approve the budget as presented. I move to, uh, as I did before, that we uh, adopt the budget as it's presented this evening. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Kammer. The clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Hopkins? No. Aarons? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? No. Daney? Yes. President Wallace? Yes. The, motion, the, same. the budget does not pass. Yeah, the motion is, due, is denied. This, this. Right. What time, time frame do we have for the budget to be approved? <clears throat> uh, you have the opportunity to consider it at the next board meeting, and then that will be the last opportunity. Good. Okay. 
Moving right along, does anybody uh, have any other uh, new business? Questions? Question. Um, I already had a discussion with uh, Dan uh, regarding uh, Devon Avenue on some of the, uh, the issues that we voted on tonight since we were under budget. We did uh, discuss possibly doing some striping on Devon Avenue and that's being considered. We already have that actually in the plans to do this summer. Okay. Thank you. Um, just to let everybody know, we'll be uh, going directly into the committee of the whole meeting and directly following the committee of the whole meeting, we will be moving into executive session to discuss property acquisition pursuant to section 2C5 of the Open Meetings Act. With that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the board meeting. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee um, Ahrens. For the clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Ahrens? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Hopkins? Yes.